Welcome to the Libraries tutorial. In this video, we'll learn how to use custom list libraries to organize all your assets so you can use them on your designs. Let's start. You can access libraries from the menu on the left. Libraries are collections of assets you can use across your designs and templates. You can create image, color, font, and vector libraries and easily upload your files to them. They also allow you to organize your assets into categories, so if you have a lot of options to offer, you can organize them better. Besides helping you stay organized, libraries are a great time saver. Every time you update a library, let's say you add an extra color to this one, all the templates and designs that are using that library will also get updated. So, they are an excellent way to reuse assets and properties across multiple designs and templates and make sure everything is up to date without having to upload assets over and over again. There are four types of libraries you can create, color, font, vector and image libraries. Color libraries let you organize color options to then use on text elements, single color vectors and single color images. With font libraries, you can organize font options to use on text elements. Vector libraries let you organize vector options to use on dynamic vectors. And finally, image libraries let you organize image options to use on dynamic images. This is one of the most popular library types since it's what's commonly used to add clipart options to your products. As I mentioned before, you can add categories to any kind of library. They will let you organize your assets in groups, so customers can first pick a category and then only see the options that category has. It's super helpful when you have big collections of assets to offer. For example, if you want to use a large number of hairstyle options, using categories your customers will be able to first select the hair color they want and then browse for a specific hairstyle option to personalize in a more organized way. Let's create an image library with categories to check them out. Click Create New Library. Select the kind of library you want, in this case, Image. Then name it and create it. Then you can either create a category or start uploading images right away. If you upload images right away, you won't have any categories. So let's choose to create a category first. Give it a name and add a thumbnail. This is the image that will be used to identify the category. Once inside the category, simply upload all the assets. You can add as many categories and assets as you need. Let's add one more category to our library. And that's it. Libraries can be edited in case you need to add or delete images, change their order and also add or delete categories. They can also be cloned or deleted if they are not being used by your designs or templates, of course. Last but not least, you can also bulk upload multiple libraries at the same time using a zip file. If you're working with tons of assets or you have a lot of libraries to upload, this will save you a lot of time. Keep in mind this function is available for image libraries only. Make sure to check our guide on how to prepare your zip files before uploading them, which you can find on our help center. And remember, if you have multiple assets, using libraries will always be the most efficient way to go. So we always recommend taking the time to work on them before creating your designs. Now you're ready to create your own libraries, organize your assets and save time when creating personalized products. Don't miss our other video tutorials where you can learn more about templates, option sets, settings and more. And remember, if you ever need help, our amazing support team is just a click away using the help button in the right corner. 
happy customizing